Hello, my friend. Welcome to Tubio Channel. Several months ago, I have modified my 3D printer to be a 2D printer. I printed some beautiful figures using some mathematical equation. With the help of Excel, I can simply generate the G-code file and print that. And then, I 3D printed a T-top board using the similar method. Today, I will tell you how to 3D print a vase using the similar method. Keep watching. Let's start. For a 2D printer figure, you must know the initial height of the pen. For 3D printing, there is no need for this step, but you must know the filament extruding lengths. In the last video, I have explained the method and how to calculate the filament scaling factor. Briefly, I explained here. Open the G-code file that I generates by using slicing software, such as cursor slicing or cooler. The file is like this. You can copy some parts like this. Paste to a new file using the Notepad++ to modify it like this. Delete the characters X, Y, and E. Then save this file as extrude txt. Open the extruded file using Excel. Separate the data using space. Now the file is like this. You can see the G code file using this command. This means all the coordination value is the absolute value. So the extruded lens can be calculated like this. Since I use feeding density 80% when using cruiser slicing software, the scaling factor is 0.021. Now we choose the vase shape. I have found this mathematical equation is really nice. It is called the epicycloid curve. In the parametric equation, it is written like this. I make a simple file that calculates the equation using Excel. In this Excel file, when the number of the A and the B are in some definite values, the curve can be simplified like this. I have found in the range of minus 3 to 3.3 of the x-axis value, the figure can completely get in one closed figure. I will use this figure as the vase shape. Now let's select some side shapes of the vase. I searched the internet and found this figure is quite nice. Save the figure using JPEG format. Now using a free web-based application to change the figure to a data file. The link is described below. Select several points to fit the outside shape. Save the data in CSV format. This data file can be created using Excel. Now open Excel, copy the data to origin software. This software is used to trade the data and the print figure. I will use it to simulate the outside shape to be an equation. I tried several outside figures and finally choose this figure as a test. In this figure, there are several turning points. I will use a four-order polynomial equation to simulate the curve. In origin, there is a curve fit function that can do the job. Choose the order of the polynomial equation and fit the curve. Now I get the outside shape with a mathematical equation. When we redraw the curve using Excel, it looks like this. It is quite beautiful. First, we start a test print. In the Excel file, I define several parameters that define the vase shape. The height is the vase height. The step is the z-axis steps. Also, it is the separation distance between two closed figures of vase. 
The distance between scale one and scale two is the step value, and so the others. I have prepared five times scalar, but when I test the print, I only use three of them. So the thickness of the vase is about 0.4 millimeter if the step is 0.2 millimeter. I define a simple macro to output the data set to the G code file. Using the VBA application in Excel, I can output the data set one by one step. I have tried once time make all steps to the output G code file, but fail. Maybe it is caused that I use an Excel worksheet to calculate every time. The output data sheet should activate every time when pushing. So I finally choose directly push the macro button, but it is too much time since the step is 0.2 millimeter. For 150 millimeter height vase, it should push 750 times. Then I use free software that can record the mouse and the keyboard activation and then replay. The software link is also listed in the description below. First, record one action. Now we know the mouse position value. Then copy these two settings twenty times. In the options menu, you can also select and multiply replay the action. I select ten. So finally, one push I can get twenty times ten equals two hundred times click. It is about forty millimeter in height. You only need to run the software four times, then you can get all output data set G code file. You can also stop the software by pushing the escape key. Now I first test five times that the height is one millimeter. You can adjust the scaling factor and the filling density. Since the vase is only 0.1 millimeter thick, I use 150 filling density for the test. The print is very good. For vase, we need a bottom, so I input the vase shape to Fusion 360 and redraw it as a sketch. Extrude the sketch to one millimeter and export as STL format. Slicing the STL file using Prusa slicing software. For the remaining vase data, I use Excel to generate with the starting point at one point zero millimeter. Then combine these two files as one. Here is an important point you should keep in mind. When the layer change, say Z axis value change. You should use G ninety two E zero command. It will initialize the extrude filament value, so you can get the correct value. Finally, add the ending command. Now everything is prepared. Let's print. It works very well. Finally, I make a brief explanation for the vase printing. One, select the parameters that define the vase size, height, and stay. Two, select the outside side shape. Three, simulate the outside shape to be an equation. Four, use Fusion 360 to generate a vase space. Five, generate the remaining data using Excel as the main parts. Six. Combine the base and the remaining parts. Seven, print. If you have seen the video here, please do me a favor: subscribe to my channel and click the small bell.
so you will not miss the update. Tilby Your Channel is waiting for you.